the Earth is a sphere. This is an obvious fact that is backed by several pieces of evidence, but this hasn't stopped naysayers and doubters from suggesting that it could be otherwise. Over the years, the validity of this suggestion has been a cause for huge and controversial debates among scientists and astronomers. But what if the originators are right, though? What if the Earth was actually flat? Would it have any impact on our existence? Let's find out. Listening to all the arguments in support of a flat Earth, Nicholas Copernicus would probably be turning in his grave. The ancient Polish astronomer devised the heliocentric theory, which helped to debunk false theories that predicted that Earth was the center of the universe. Instead, he proposed that the Sun was stationary at the center of the universe, where every planet in the outer solar system, including the Earth, orbits around it. This got him into trouble with quite a lot of people, including the hierarchy of the Catholic Church. Eventually, the world came to accept Copernicus's theory as the truth. A few decades down the line, and we are having to deal with yet another controversy in the world of astronomy. And this time, it is one that affects the big blue planet we call home. But perhaps you wouldn't blame the people who promote the theory of a flat Earth too much, especially if they haven't been privileged enough to cross the Kármán line into space. Thinking about it again, it is almost impossible to think that anyone would question the spherical shape of the Earth, especially considering the amount of evidence that is available. As a matter of fact, for any celestial object to be classified as a planet, it must have the shape of a sphere. In other words, if our Earth was flat, then it wouldn't be a planet in the first place. Looking out from any one location on the surface of the Earth, it's impossible to properly identify its shape. Depending on where you are standing from, the Earth could be flat, or egg-shaped, or spherical, or hydrostatic equilibrium. It could have any shape at all, but you wouldn't know because, in truth, the shape of the Earth cannot be assessed properly from a single location. However, we know that when observed from a single location on the surface, our Earth is indistinguishable from flat, at least beyond a certain degree. As we all know, gravity is what pulls matter together and equally from every side of the Earth. So to suggest that the Earth is a flat pan is to disregard one of the laws of gravity, which is one of the most fundamental laws of physics. But that's not to say the flat Earth wouldn't have gravity. According to science, a flat Earth would have gravity, just like a spherical Earth does. However, its centre of gravity would be in the middle, and expectedly, everything on the planet and around it would be pulled towards this centre. Based on the laws of physics, which double as the law of nature, the more distant between a body and this centre, the stronger the pull would be. In fact, this downward gravitational pull would become so intense at some point that humans might have to start climbing to survive on the planet. And this is the exact reason why you wouldn't be able to walk on the edge of the flat Earth, even if you wanted to. The gravity around this region would be so intense and powerful, such that it could be impossible to find your way around this already dangerous path. However, this wouldn't be the only disadvantage of living on a flat Earth. In fact, there are many more side effects of living in a flat world, some of which are absolutely hilarious. For instance, rather than fall downwards, objects closer to the edge of the Earth would fall sideways. In addition, rather than growing upward as they do now, trees would grow diagonally on a flat Earth, simply because they'd be reaching against the pool. Also, all the rain, snow and hail would fall towards the Arctic at the centre of the Earth. We would witness a convergence of precipitation. Consequently, small oceans would get dragged to the centre of the disk to form a massive ocean at the centre. Another downside of a flat Earth would be the air pressure. This would be a serious cause of concern because as gravity drags air towards the centre of a flattened Earth, the surrounding areas will be left with very little or no air pressure. This would leave people in some regions without oxygen to breathe. The situation would be even worse for people who live closer to the centre where the Arctic would supposedly be. The weight of the atmosphere here would be more than enough to crush anyone living around the area. 
Additionally, a flat Earth won't have a geomagnetic field like our spherical Earth does. This means there'd be no force to hold the atmosphere in place. Consequently, it would spill and mix with the elements in space, leaving us vulnerable to high solar radiation and all of its side effects including cancer and damaged DNA. Of course, the air would be polluted as well, which means for humans to survive, we'd need to produce artificial oxygen and standard life support systems on a large scale. Similar to a spherical Earth, a flattened Earth would have natural satellites, such as the Sun and the Moon. However, they will operate differently from what we currently experience. For instance, the spherical Earth orbits the Sun. Critically, this is one of the things responsible for the different time zones around the world. However, for a flat Earth, the Sun would shine everywhere across the Earth at all times. There would be no day or night. That means someone in Europe would see the Sun at the exact same time as someone in Australia. In other words, we'd have 24 hours of sunlight. Expectedly, this occurrence would have both positive and negative effects on human activities on our planet. On one hand, the extended hours of sunlight increase our ability to generate more solar energy. Also, the availability of natural light all through the day means humans can decide to extend their working hours if they need to, or perhaps change their working schedule as required. But on the other hand, the life cycle of several organisms of our planet would be disrupted. For one, animals who come out to breed after sunset would be confused and our natural sleeping cycle as humans will be disrupted as well. One way to solve this would be for the sun to move upward and downward rather than our Earth orbiting around it. In this case, when the sun is up, the entire planet would experience daytime. And once it goes down, we'd experience nighttime. This could restore some balance, except that there would be no different time zones like we experience now. Furthermore, the size of the sun could prove to be a problem. If the sun ever orbited a flat Earth at its current size, it would burn down the entire planet due to the reduced distance that would be between both celestial objects. Meanwhile, if the sun becomes much smaller than it currently is, we'd literally freeze to death because the total energy emitted by the star would be only one third of its current output. And ironically, the surface area of a flat Earth would be nearly two and a half times bigger than it currently is. In these conditions, it would be impossible for a lunar eclipse to occur and life itself would not exist. In summary, our planet would be a much different place if it was flat. It's needless to say most of the differences would be negative. However, there would be some positives as well. For instance, a flat Earth would mean shorter travelling times. As a matter of fact, you'd need only about 42 minutes to travel from one end of the Earth to the other. For perspective, you could be in Chile in the morning and China at noon, depending on your means of transport. But then again, if we compare them side by side, the downsides of a flat Earth would be much more than its advantages, and we can only be thankful that our planet exists in the right shape.